Hello again and welcome to 24-7 Ball Sports. Uh, I'm going to go through some um, bags of kite surfing, sort of journeys away, Europe, world, wherever it is you're going to. Um, they're just going to be the sort of type bag you put all your equipment in and you get it to an airport and, uh, and obviously onto a plane. Um, so let's have a little look, see what we stock. Hello, okay, this is our first uh, first bag I'm going to show you. This is the combi bag from North um, in the fabulous 2011 colours. Uh, There's either 135, which is the bag here, or 160, which is obviously a little bit bigger. Um, I actually managed to get myself in the 160 earlier on, zip it up, and um, yeah, I'm five and a half foot, and it was more than big enough sort of thing. It just shows how much you can actually get into these into these bags. Um, most of the bags would take two kites, so a 12 and a 9, and a board and a pump bar and lines, um, wet suit harness and so on, uh, with generally a little bit of room to spare. Um, yeah, the colour might be a bit garish, but it will get seen on the conveyor belt and so on. Um, but if you are thinking about a, uh, a smuggling moment, then you might want to pick a bag which is a little bit more discreet, because I think you're going to stick out like a sore thumb, um, tracing through an airport with this. Um, but it will be a product. Um, it's got some it's got some nice colours on it and so on, uh, but fundamentally it's a good, strong canvas bag, which is well worked. Um, which will get you made to be with hopefully with no damages. Um, let's move on to the next product. Okay, this is the uh, the Cabrina uh, weight bag. They're doing three different sizes this year: uh, 140, 150, and 165. Um, it is a big bag. Um, you'll probably get three kites in here. You know, 13, 9, 7, something like that. You're going to get a lot of kit, two or three kites um, at least, and maybe a couple of boards with all the other paraphernalia that goes with it. Um, again, a lot of the, a lot of the bags nowadays are coming with wheels, um, so they just they just drag to an airport without actually scuffing the bag too much. Uh, this one's actually got anti-scuff um, drag plates on it as well, so it will get beaten around a little bit on the uh, on the way to the car and through the airport, no doubt. Uh, but yeah, a well-built product, lots and lots of padding with it, um, and yeah, a quite discreet little colour as well. Um, some, some very subtle logos and so on. Uh, but let's move on to the next bag. Okay, this is the uh, the final bag I'm going to show you today. This is the Mystic Golf bag um, in a 150 length. Um, a lot of companies are now putting the word golf on the bags in the hope that they can get it through the airport without uh, getting hammered for excess charges with the airlines. Um, it's not 100% guaranteed, but it, it can tend to work. Um, so it's worth a punt, but there's no guarantee that it'll work anymore for sure. Um, this bag currently has um, two kites, an 11 and 9, and a kite board, bar line sits in it, and there's just lots and lots of space left in the bag. Um, but let's, uh, let's put it on the floor and uh, take all the stuff out so you can see just how much is in this sort of bag. So yeah, there you go. Um, now an empty bag, but you can get a lot more stuff. Obviously you've got the wetsuits, crash helmets, and pack vests, pumps, and so on to go into it. Um, you can get them into the bag without, you know, without any dramas at all. Also comes with the anti-scuff materials on it, uh, with wheels as well, which is great for getting it through an airport. Hope you've enjoyed this little presentation. Um, we'll be back to you soon.